Hello everyone, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in here. So in this video, I would talk about the debugging techniques in Pega. So we would take a very specific example where we are creating an activity and trying to save an instance in the data class. And uh, the instance is not getting saved, so we'll try to find the cause for it. So let's jump into our application and so I have created a activity already. So what are we doing here? In the first step, we are just creating the page, the candidate page. And in the pages and classes, we are defining the class of that candidate page. Uh, in the second step, we are actually setting the property values on that uh, page. So we have the full name, which is Samir, years of experience, three skill set and Python. Uh, so these, uh, so in this particular step, the values would be set in the properties. In the third step, what are we doing? We are doing an OBJ save onto this candidate page. Now we are trying to uh, debug why my instance is not getting saved. First of all, I'll run the activity and start the tracer and uh, check whether the instance is getting saved or not. And then we will go further into how can we debug this easily. So uh, without further ado, let's just run this. Okay, so I have run this, bus, but uh, before running this, I need to trace this particular scenario uh, where we are running the activity. So the tracer is on. Now we need to click on run button. Okay. So the status page is telling me it's success. So the activity has run. Uh, now going to tracer. Okay. So these are the different steps that have been executed. Uh, so let's start with the first step where we are creating the page, the candidate page. So you can see the page has been created successfully because the PXOBJ class is set right. Uh, and the next step we are doing a property set and we are setting some property values on this. So let's check. Uh, so always try to see the end of the step. So the step two was the beginning. Uh, this is the beginning because you see a step begin, then a step end. Then I go to the candidate page. Now, what do I see here? I see the PXOBJ class, that's a necessity, then years of experience, full name, skill set. So these properties are set. So we are good here. Now, in the third step, what do we see? In the third step, we do a OBJ save. Okay, so I can see in the OBJ, uh, OBJ save, this particular properties all are present. So that's okay. And in the OBJ save step end, you see still the values are there. That means the values are correctly getting set in the page. Now, but do I see that in my data type? Do I see the particular instance? Let's check it out. So this is the one. Uh, okay. So if try to refresh it. Mm -hmm. Nothing is in here. That means the OBJ save is not getting saved. So uh, I need to debug this. What are the things that I have to do? First, let me go to the tracer. Uh, let me just, uh, you know, go to the settings. I can pause this for now. Uh, let me go to the setting and see what or what are the different uh, rule types that I need to switch on here. Okay. Um, DB query, data pages. Okay, everything is there. Parse rule. Good. I think most of the things which we need, um, it's already switched on. Okay. So that's okay. Um, okay. Everything is all right in here. Now, uh, I need to see whether my SQL query ran fine or not. So whenever we are doing any operation, there is an SQL query at the, uh, you know, the backend, which is happening. But do I see any SQL query here? So that's strange, right? I don't see any SQL being triggered. No, it's not here. So what might have caused this? Let me go to my activity and try to see again what I have done. Okay, first step is fine. Second step is also fine. Let me expand this third step. Okay, so OBJ save is when you defer the page. Okay, but until and unless you do a right now, the commit does not happen. So I did not do this. That's why this was not getting saved in my database. Okay, so let me try to do a right now again and do a save. Okay, so let me run this again. Okay, let me run, do a trace. 
look closely in the tracer this time okay you see lot more steps than what was happening previously right so the first uh, one and two steps are still the same coming to the third step when you start the obj save you see uh, this merge and commit steps right so what are these so let me try to go to the commit step so it's saying that save instances of the class but what else might have ha happened do i see any sql query i don't see any sql query oh i see so these are the insert statement that was happening in my uh, table right so you see that you are, what, what are the things that you are inserting you're inserting full name skill set years of experience and some other you know some out of the box properties that gets inserted at the background all those things are getting uh, fired so the insert query is happening so that means now when i go to my data type i should see the instance let me see if i can find that now let me do a refresh oh wow i see the same uh, values that i have fired in my activity so this is working so you got the basics of debugging here right so what i did was i first went to my steps what i have done and then i ran it with tracer on in tracer make sure that you are switching on all the different uh, you know rule types that you need to see so when it was related to obj save or commit that you know that you need to see the db query that is going to be executed at the background so it's very important your db query is on so to be uh, to be sure that you are you know switching on correct rules make sure you switch on mostly all rules except the ones which you will uh, not need in normal circumstances like unit test case code card all these things you don't need but the other ones you need to be uh, you need to be sure that you're switching on those to see the tracer working fine so this was a short video on uh, one of the scenarios uh, on how to debug the particular step okay uh, i hope this was useful to you i'll come again with some more specific scenarios and how to debug those thank you for watching this see you again uh, bye bye